Hey everybody, I have a new color by number book by Sun Life Drawing, who was kind enough to send this book to me, Fantasy Quest. I love it. It's got a unicorn on the cover. How could you not love this book? I love unicorns, guys. Child of the 80s, sorry. This one's got a 22 color, um, color palette. And if you want to check out some of the other coloring books by them, um, coloring by numbers, I should say, um, check out my page. I have several of them. This is just like all the other ones that I have shown you where um, you cannot tell what these are just by looking at the pages. See? It's just numbers. There's no way you would know what that is. So you go to um, your table contents page and you would count one, two, three, I want to do the centaur, okay? So after your color palette page, you count one, two, three, and this will be your centaur page. So, but me, I just opened it up, colored one. <laughs> I like the surprise. So, um, this one's got all the fairy tale creatures you can want. I love them the elf, the dragon, the unicorn. Um, uh, goblins, fairies, really cool, really good book. Then you have your color palette page, which I'm so glad they, they added this. For the first section, I used my Tombow brush markers. Um, and the second one, I had some Posca glitter pens which I wanted to try to get the same color and the color family and I didn't want to forget what I was using. So at the top, like right here, I would write Posca and then I would write Tombow so I would remember which markers or pencils or whatever I used for my coloring. So when I go back and I want to use this same exact color palette, I know exactly, you know, which ones to go get. So. I'm going to flip through a little bit, even though you can't really tell what the pictures are. Um, they have a couple of different designs in this one. They've, they've got the little triangular ones this time, which is kind of cool. I have not tried that one yet. I will definitely try that one next. And they got, um, yeah, they have some that are um, portrait and some of them that are landscape. This is the one that I did. That was a landscape. The Pegasus. I could not figure out what this was until <laughs> almost done because I thought it was a unicorn. And then I was like, that's not a unicorn because it's got wings. But um, it just it came out so cute. I just love it. And I went back over it with some of those, you can't really see that much, some of those Posca um, glitter gel pens make it pop a little bit. So... I really love that they have more of a, a larger color palette because you just it just makes it pop. There's more to it now. There's more depth is what I'm trying to say. So I really, really like how this came out. I'm excited to try some more. Um, I don't know what happened here. I had um, something on it to protect it, but I must have shifted it or moved it or whatever. But it'll, it'll be fine. I can color over it. So, it doesn't say how many pages are in here. Let me see if I could find it at the front. Let me see if I missed it. Here we go. 25 different creatures hidden in the grids. And also, this is the sixth book from them, from the Quest Coloring Series. So, yeah, it is really a great little book. I love the color by numbers. You don't have to think about the colors. You just pick them up. You know, they have it all down here for you. Um, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. You just, only thing you have to do is worry about whether you're going to use pencils or what marker set, anything like that. Um, that's it. And then you just start coloring. 
it's fun it's easy i highly suggest you go check them out so if you have any questions or comments leave them down at the bottom and i'll post a link to where you can purchase this and i really appreciate you guys watching if you haven't hit that sub please do and i would love a thumbs up thanks guys Bye bye